Round nine of the World Rally Championship, the ADAC Rally Germany, and a nightmare start for Volkswagen's Yari Matti Latvala. His Polo R suffering gearbox issues and coming to a halt in stage one. Frenchman Eric Camelli also failing to make it through the first test. Off and out, Camelli stranded for the rest of the day. New Zealand's Hayden Padden had an eventful opening day two. A huge slide in stage three, the biggest of a few moments the Hyundai driver had on Friday, but they could afford to laugh after that escape. <laughs> Keep going, 200. <laughs> Thierry Neville made a good getaway. Up in the podium positions early on, running wide here in stage six. A sign, perhaps, of just how hard the Belgian was pushing. The only leader, though, this man, VW's Andreas Mikkelsen, under pressure from teammate Sebastian Ogier, and that pressure ultimately showing in stage seven. The Norwegian lucky to escape a rare overshoot. Frenchman Stéphane Lefebvre and co-driver Gavin Moreau, though, were taken to hospital after high speed off in stage ten. Panzerblatt along. Huge impact coming up here, crashing into the Hinkelsteins. Fortunately, their injuries not life-threatening. Auger had taken the lead by the end of day one and followed up with a commanding drive on Saturday. The Frenchman determined to end a run of six rallies without a win and looking very comfortable out in front. Coming into the final day, just four seconds split Mickelson in second, Danny Sordo in third and Deville in fourth. Mickelson was dropping back, Neville storming through the final power stage run, taking the quickest time and the three bonus points. That put pressure on his teammate Sordo, who had a slender advantage going into the final stage. And he would cross the line just a tenth of a second ahead of his teammate to clinch the runner-up spot. But Rally Germany belonged to this man, Sebastian Auger, cruising home on the final day, his third win of the season. Great, great, I mean, for sure. As I said before the start, I was missing it a lot. It's been such a long time. But I think, uh, yeah, it was like this. I had no chance to do it. And now I took the chance again. It's a good, really good result for the championship. Confirmation then. Sebastian Auger back on the top step, winning for VW at the home event again. Sordo pipping the bill for second. Couldn't have been closer. Mickelson and Padden completing the top five. And in the championship, Auger extends his lead on course for his fourth successive title. Mickelson stays second. Padden now up to third ahead of Neville. Lapler 